we know that the area of triangle is equal to half multiplies base multiplies height. According to the formula, we can determine the area of triangle ABC. It is given that AB is equal to 10 centimeter is equal to BC is equal to CA. That is why triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle where the height of the triangle is equal to 5 to 3 centimeter. So the area of the triangle ABC is equal to half multiplies the base BC equals 10 centimeter. So half multiplies 10 multiplies the height 5 root 3. So the area of the triangle ABC equals 25 root 3 centimeter square. Now we know that in a triangle the segment joining the midpoints of any two sides for example here AD is equal to half of AB that is why D is the midpoint of AB and A is equal to half of AC so E is the midpoint of AC. So DE is the line or segment joining the midpoint of side AB and AC of triangle ABC. So DE will be parallel to the third side BC and half of its length. Therefore, DE equals half of BC, where BC is equal to 10 centimeter. So the length of DE equals half of 10 centimeter therefore de equals 5 centimeter what is the area of triangle ade here ad is equal to half of ab and a is equal to half of ac so if we join the line de uh, where de is equal to half of bc and if we join d h and e h then we will have total four triangle of same area the triangles are a d e d e h b d h and h e c so we can write that four of triangle a d e is equal to triangle ABC as we can see here that triangle ADE plus triangle BDH plus triangle DHE plus triangle HEC is equal to triangle ABC and the area of triangle ADE, triangle BDH, triangle DHE, and triangle HEC are equal. So, which helps us to derive 4 of ADE is equal to triangle, the area of triangle ABC. So, we can write that. Therefore, the area of triangle ADE is equal to 1 fourth of triangle ABC. We can get that the area of triangle ABC equal to 25 root 3 centimeter square. So the area of triangle ADE equals 1 fourth of 25 root 3 centimeter square. An exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of its interior ang interior opposite angles. For example, in this triangle, ACK is an exterior angle with respect to the triangle ABC. And with respect to angle ACK, angle A and angle B of triangle ABC are the interior opposite angles. So according to the theorem, ACK is equal to angle A and angle B from triangle ABC and triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle where all the angles are equal and they are 60 degree so A is equal to 60 degree and B angle B equals 60 degree so if we put the value of angle A and angle B 
we get that angle ACK as an exterior angle equals 120 degree. Properties of triangle. The sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. For example, in triangle XYZ, if we sum XZ and XY, we get 5 plus 4 equals 9, which is of course greater than ZY, which equals 2 centimeter. The difference between the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is less than the length of the third side. For example, if we take the difference between XZ and XY, we get 5 minus 4 equals 1 centimeter, which is of course less than 2 centimeter, which is the length of the third side ZY. The side opposite to the largest angle in this triangle XYZ, Y is the largest angle because Y is greater than 90 degree, which is denoting an obtuse angled triangle. And it the opposite side of angle Y is XZ. So the longest side of the triangle is XZ because we can see here that 5 cm is greater than 4 and 5 is of course greater than 2. And the side opposite to the smallest angle is the shortest side, shortest side of the triangle. So we can say that the side of the side opposite to the largest angle is the longest side of the triangle and the side opposite to the smallest angle is the shortest side of the triangle. So as 2 cm is the shortest side, that is ZY is the shortest side of this angle XYZ, so X is the shortest angle among the three angles of triangle XYZ. Heron's formula for area of triangle. If the triangle side of the triangles side of the triangle are A, B and C, where the opposite angles of A is A, opposite angle of C is C and opposite angle of side B is B. So the semi perimeter of the triangle will be A plus B plus C divided by 2, where the perimeter of the triangle is A plus B plus C, where A, B, C are the side of the triangle. So Heron's formula defined, Heron's formula defines the area of triangle CAB like this. If the semi-perimeter of the triangle is S, then the area will be root over S multiplies S minus A, multiplies S minus B, multiplies S minus C, where A, B, C are the sides of the triangle. So if we get the value from the figure where b equals 10, c equals 8, and a equals 6 centimeter, we, we can get the semi-perimeter as a equals 6, b equals 10, and c equals 8 centimeter divided by 2. So the semi-perimeter semi will be 24 divided by 2, that is 12 centimeter. So if we put the value here, S equals 12 centimeter, 12 minus A equals 6 centimeter, 12 minus 10, and 12 minus C equals 8, so 12 minus 8 centimeter, which results in, which results in root over 576 centimeter square equals 24 centimeter square. So the area of triangle CAB equals 24 centimeters square. Thanks for watching. Perceive, persevere, practice. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanking you from Higher Study Prep.